हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू के के यूमन एनाटॉमी एंड फिजियोलॉजी वीडियोज अ प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू विल गेट इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इन्फॉर्मेटिव फैक्ट्स अबाउट ह्यूमन एनाटॉमी एंड फिजियोलॉजी इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ह्यूमन रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम दिस विल बी द इंट्रोडक्टरी पार्ट द ह्यूमन रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम इंक्लूड्स मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम विच फंक्शंस टू प्रोड्यूस एंड डिपोजिट स्पर्म्स एंड द फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम which functions to produce egg cells and to protect and nourish the fetus until birth now let's talk about sex organs sex organs are the organs involved in sexual reproduction they are of two types primary sex organs and secondary sex organs the primary sex organ in male is the testis which produces the male gamete known as sperm and female ovaries which produces female gametes known as eggs the main function of primary sex organs is gametogenesis that is production of gametes and secretion of sex hormones the secondary sex organs don't produce gametes the secondary sex organs includes the ducts and glands that facilitate the conduction of gametes produced as male and female can be externally differentiated by certain specific features called secondary sexual characters they are called sexual dimorphic characters in males presence of beard mustache hair on the chest muscular body enlarged larynx also called adams apple are secondary sexual characters while in females these characters are the developed breast broader pelvis and high pitched voice now let's talk about sex hormones they are also known as sex steroids or gonadocorticoids sex hormones are the hormones that help in reproduction and development of sexual character the sex hormones differ in males and females estrogen and progesterone are female sex hormones that are secreted by female primary sex organ ovaries these female sex organs stimulate female sexual characters testosterone is the male sex hormone that is secreted by the male primary sex organ that is testis testosterone stimulates the gametogenesis along with the male secondary sexual characters human reproduction usually involves internal fertilization by sexual intercourse in this process semen containing sperms ejaculated by male travels into the female reproductive system from vagina a small proportion of the sperm pass through the cervix into the uterus and then into the fallopian tubes also called uterine tube for fertilization of the ovum only one sperm is required to fertilize the ovum upon successful fertilization the fertilized ovum or zygote travels out of the fallopian tube and into the uterus where it implants in the uterine wall this marks the beginning of gestation better known as pregnancy which continues for around 9 months as the fetus develops when the fetus has developed to a certain point pregnancy is concluded with childbirth involving labor during labor the muscles of the uterus contract and the cervix dilates over the course of hours and the baby passes out of the vagina as we know humans are sexually reproducing and viviparous animals viviparous organisms means organisms producing living young instead of eggs there are some terminologies that you must know before starting the actual anatomy and physiology of reproductive system the process of reproduction involves various sequential steps such as gametogenesis 
means formation of gametes that is sperms in males and ovum in females insemination that is the transfer of sperms into the female genital tract internal fertilization which involves fusion of male and female gametes leading to formation of zygote this is followed by formation and development of blastocyst implantation that is attachment of blastocyst to the uterine wall these reproductive events occur after puberty there are remarkable differences between the reproductive events in the male and in the female for example sperm formation continues even in old men but formation of ovum ceases in women around the age of 50 years gestation period meaning the period of embryonic development and the parturition means delivery of the baby this is the introductory part of reproductive system in my upcoming video we will discuss parts of female reproductive system hope you will find this video informative and interesting if you like this video then subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon do like comment and share this video for more update join the forum and group visit my facebook page for more information i have provided the link in description below have a happy learning